Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me on Make It Monday. And this week I've got a slightly more in-depth project for you. Rather than just a card, I thought we would make a box. Um, but this is a special box. I'm going to slide this um, ribbon off. Take the lid off. And inside this box there are four 3x4 three note cards and their envelopes that match. How gorgeous is that designer series paper? This one is the Presents and Pine Cones designer series paper um, and it's so pretty. Um, but the one I'm going to make today, I'm going to do slightly more detailed ones. I'm going to put just designer series paper, I'm going to make the cards and I'm going to put some DSP on the um, lid as well. Um, which was my original plan and I don't know how I ended up stamping. Probably because I can't get enough stamping, that's probably it. Um, so I'll put that over there and I'll put the ribbon back on to take the photos with. But the ones I've got today are using the Fruit Stand Designer Series paper and the Coordinating Fresh Fruit Stamp Set. I've got my envelope punch board. My desk isn't big enough. My envelope punch board, which I need for this project, um, is just taking up too much room. So I've got my Fresh Fruit Stamp Set and I've made three um, note cards and I've made three envelopes so I thought I would go through the whole process with you um, and we do one of each thing. So I've put those up there out of the way. Um, the first thing I think we'll do is make the box because that's the most complicated bit for me. Um, and what you need, just get, get myself organised here with my, like I said, my desk isn't big enough. If anybody's ever been in my craft room, you'll know that my desk is tiny. And I could do really do with a bigger one. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Waiting for my husband to buy me a new house. And then we might get a bigger craft room. So, the you need for this um, box. That's my stamp for in a minute. I've got all my pieces of Delenesis paper already pre-cut. I'm going to put those out of the way. Um, but you need two pieces of cardstock. Now, this was one piece of A4 and I, there's, there's a teeny wind a little bit wasted on the bottom um so you you need one piece of cardstock for the box and the base is nine and a half inches by four inches and the lid is nine and three quarters by three inches um and we'll, we'll do the the base first um, and i'm going to stamp on this base as well so i've got my peekaboo peach ink pad to match my peekaboo peach cardstock and this stamp, which might be my favourite stamp, actually, in this fresh fruit um, stamp set. I just think it's just so versatile. Um, I've made loads and loads of cards with this stamp. And not even looking like fruit, just random. And so I've randomly stamped my circles all over my cardstock. No, no rhyme or reason to how I've done it, just total random stamping. And then I need for because this box, um, because the way this box is put together, you need to use your stamping trimmer to score with. So use my extending arm and everything. <laughs> now the stamping trimmer has two blades on it. There is a dark grey one that is cutting. We're going to put that away. We've already cut. And there's a light grey blade which is scoring, which is the one I'm going to use mostly today. Actually. That's all you're going to see. You're just going to see this light grey blade. So we're going to put our uh, piece of cardstock with the long side at the top. And we're going to score first at one inch. At four and a half inches. At five and a half inches. And at nine. I have not got the metric measurements for this one. Um, I might put them on my blog, but it will be unlikely. I'll probably likely leave this one in Imperial just because it, the card bases are in Imperial and it just makes more, the envelopes in Imperial, it just makes more sense to me to work this one in inches. So I've scored it on the short side at one inch. Um, so you've now got a piece of card that looks like that. I'm going to score the lid at the same time. So the lid is nine and three quarters of an inch by three inches. And we're going to score this one at one and one inch 
and one sixteenth. So one and one sixteenth in it. One, yeah. This the Stampin' Up score boat. Um, Stampin' Up. Oh, brain isn't working. Stampin' Trimmer. Um, is brilliant because it does have all the sixteenths marked all the way along it. Um, unfortunately, on the Simply Scored, we've only got eighths. Um, and you need sixteenths to make sure the lid fits the box properly. So it's one inch plus one sixteenth. Then it's four and five eighths. I apologise for this one, I really do. Five and eleven sixteenths. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. And nine and a quarter. Don't worry about um, writing all these measurements down. They will be on my blog. Link is in the down bar below, as always. And we're going to score on the short side at one inch. And that's all the scoring. So it's a really super simple box to put together. Um, what I'm going to do is fold and, and burnish on all my score lines. All right, so... Um, I'm just going to um, quickly put this box together. The The one thing I really need to tell you about today is today is Monday. It is the 3rd of October. And um, on Saturday, two, two fantastic offers started over at Stampin' Up and available on my um, Stampin' Up web store. Um, for you to who get, um, tw um, I think it's about 25% off um, some crafty essentials for Celebrate World Card Making Day, which was on Saturday. And then the other one is last all of October and is buy three packs of designer series paper and get the fourth one for free, which is just amazing. I love our designer series paper. It's such fabulous quality. Um, and if you've never felt any, I do have a paper share, which will start probably on Thursday this week. Um, all the information for that will be over on my blog and um, in my weekly email newsletter. If you've not signed up for that yet, you need to get yourself down into the down bar below. There is a link in that description box to my newsletter. I send an email newsletter out every Thursday, um, usually with... Um, an exclusive project most often or not not most often there's a video um, and if I can't do a video that week I couldn't do a video last week I had no voice um, but there is a video this week um, so there's usually a video and um, if there's not a video there is a PDF download for a project that is totally exclusive to my newsletter so getting all that housekeeping out of the way I've cut my pieces you can see I've notched out um, the squares really simple box to cut and I'm going to just put some tear and tape on the skinny edge here and then this flap here is going to be the front I'll do that one there and the same on this one so um, tear and tape on our skinny edge I can not cut, put it down wonky, and then not the not the the big one next to it, but the one after is the front. So we're gonna put that on there. Now, before I assemble the box, I'm gonna put on my designer series paper because it's easier to put this on flat than it is when it's all um, assembled. So I've got five pieces of designer series paper, and they are pre-cut. The measurements for these will be on my blog um, because trying to work out. The exact measurements goodness gracious it took me a little while i've got to admit so there's one um like so and you so you've got two for the the um the larger bits two for the sides now these boxes this is the sort of thing I love. For you know when somebody comes up to you and says, I've got a raffle coming on Sunday. Have you got anything I can put in it? 
this is. This is what you say. Oh, yes, I've got the perfect thing. And it's original and it's different. And it takes no time to put together whatsoever. So I'll just take the tear and tape off. Oh, gosh, we're already at 10 minutes. I did say, I did warn you this video was going to be longer than our, my normal videos today, didn't I? Because we've got more than just a card. So once you've got the sides assembled, I'm going to put the two flaps in and the back. And then this one is the front. You could use, um, you don't need to use tear and tape necessarily for this box. You could use fast views or if you've got any other kind of strong, I'll go with strong tape for a box. Um, when, you, when you're doing a 3D project, you need something that's going to, going to last. Uh, and the same, so the two sides in and the back and then this front flap. Oh dear, look at that. That's awfully wonky, isn't it? Oh dear, I might have to take that off and start again. Right, so that is the box that, with the lid that fits on just perfectly. And then I've got, I've then got my um, 3x4 card. And this is cut from a piece of cardstock that's 4 inches by 6 inches. And we've scored it at 3 to make our card base. I'm going to use my snail again just to put this piece of designer series paper on the front and this is cut to a quarter of an inch shorter and narrower um, than the front of my card base so it'll be three and three quarters by two and three quarters. I've got my basic black ink pad and the thank you from the stamp set and I've got two thank you cards in this set and two birthday cards. Stamp that straight down onto there. I know that's really brave. <laughs> I'm sure people, there's, there's loads of you around the world going, oh my God, she's stamping straight onto a card. Yes, I do it quite often. Um, and then I've got my envelope. So that's another piece of the designer series paper. This is fruit stand. This is on the offer. So buy three packs, get one for free. Um, if you want a full list of all the designer series paper that is available in that offer, um, go over and check out my blog. So this piece of paper is six by six and I've inserted it on my, in my punch board at two and five eighths an inch as instructed by the handy dandy guide on the bottom. And I'm just going to line it up um, and score all the way around. Because making envelopes on the envelope punch board is super easy, super, super easy. Yes, yeah, so the great thing about fruit stand as a designer series paper and actually quite a few of the designer series, paper, designer series paper packs in the offer is that we also sell coordinating packs of cardstock so you can get your um your four packs of designer series paper and then get all the cardstock to match as well which is awesome so pop that get rid of all my bits i've also used um the other side of the envelope punch board you've got the envelope punch on this side you've got a corner rounder on this side which is super handy so I'm going to just fold and burnish to create my envelope like so and I want a bit of snail on two sides of my envelope so that it folds like that and that is my quick and easy I mean that's I've managed that in less than 15 minutes so we'll call it less than half an hour to make the full project can't we um to make my cute um three by four um note cards and coordinating box thank you ever so much for watching Stampin' by Hannah this week I do have another video coming to you on Thursday exclusively for newsletter subscribers so go over subscribe to my new newsletter to get that video and I might have something else special coming for you on Friday um, so keep your eyes peeled and I'll see you again next time bye for now